Hey film friends, I'm Nick Furman. This is Furman on Film. Welcome to the channel. You ever like need to get away? You know, get out of the city, rent a nice home with a pool and a beach nearby, kick back, relax. Then when the doorbell rings, it's definitely not gonna be Mahershal Ali talking in some sort of code like he's from a Twilight Zone episode. And there certainly won't be deer and flamingos acting weird or planes and ships, you know, crashing. To quote the infamous Ross Geller from Friends, everything is fine. This is Netflix's new apocalyptic thriller, Leave the World Behind. To start things off, this film plays like a cross between a knock at the cabin and white noise. It's very much in the vein of this crazy things are happening, oh no, the world is ending, but who's behind it and what's really going on type of thriller. A lot of the old disaster flicks would focus on the storm or meteor or tornado or earthquake that was taking out the main characters. But this kind of inverts that. Instead, all of the crazy doomsday stuff is just out there in the distance. We see glimpses of it on a news flash or in a tense sequence, but the main focus is on these few people in this one house. So Leave the World Behind is kind of two films, animals, planes, car crashes in the world outside, and the chamber piece examining human beings and the stereotypes, racial bias, and preconceived beliefs that they carry around with them inside these walls. This features two women, both misanthropes, who are pretty much at war with each other. But the central thesis appears to be that people are terrible. I can't remember the last time I liked anyone, Julia Roberts Amanda says at one point. She goes on, we know we're living a lie, an agreed upon mass delusion to ignore and keep on ignoring how awful we really are. And alongside this theme is another one hinting at the fact that no one is really in control. Who's really in charge here? We're so over-reliant on technology and we claim to be so connected to other human beings. But what happens when all of our tech goes down? Who are we then? What are we left with? Well, some people seem to be more content distracting themselves with technology, using it as escapism, than engaging with anything in the real world. So in exploring all of these themes, there were some things I really liked about this picture. There's this back and forth between the soundtrack, which is loud, fun, and rollicking, and Matt Quayle's score, which is heavy, dire, and menacing. And a few of the set pieces are really something to watch. Besides the usual disaster elements, they feature some crazy whip pans, overhead shots, and interesting camera movements inside of these sequences. You know, Leave the World Behind made me realize how much I miss Julia Roberts being in more things. And I will always welcome a doomsday survivalist Kevin Bacon cameo. Finally, for those of you who have seen it, the Tesla scene and the dance interlude between Julia and Mahershala, I just love watching director Sam Esmail flexing a different, more comical muscle. All right, well, let's move on to some critiques. Well, I mentioned before that some of the set pieces were top notch and some of the ominous environmental disaster elements are coolly rendered too. The other side of this is that there's some very weak animal CGI. And I would also say for an apocalyptic thriller, you feel every minute of this movie's length. Its pacing is somewhat languid and its themes are not all that awe-inspiring. But I think the biggest issue that many will have is with the film's ending. When you set up a thriller and a mystery, everyone is just waiting for the grand payoff. And it's not that Esmail doesn't give us one, it's just that it might not be as big, as obvious, or as conclusive as we might have hoped. And you may be left feeling like, wait, is that all? You know, this doesn't add up to much. I guess in the end, the questions become, can a finale that's less grandiose still be profound and satisfying? And is there thematic payoff to Esmail's ending beyond just a narrative conclusion? And those make for some fun food for thought. I'd love to hear yours in the comments below. So what do we conclude? Leave the World Behind drops us in a nightmarish world where our over-reliance on technology may be our undoing. Featuring about six stellar performances, a host of cool catastrophic set pieces involving crashes, explosions, rad bikini kill shirt, the natural order turned upside down, and an examination of human connection at the edge of calamity. Well, there you have it. The only thing left to discuss is our rating for this picture. FOF gives Leave the World Behind three out of five stars. 
If you enjoyed this review, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to visit FermanOnFilm.com for even more movie content. You can also check out these recent reviews right here. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick Furman. This is Furman on Film. Stay firm, my friends. Take it. Are we done?